Okay, uh, good morning. So we're up to Simon Kuf Pei Gimel Sif Hey. So we're working through the halachas of Birchas Amos and benching Alakais. So the Machaba says uh, in Sif Hey, Yesh Misha Oima Sheim Hamavarich Iter. So we said yesterday in Sif Dalit that uh, you hold the kais in your right hand, etc., etc. So maybe you're wondering, what if you're left-handed? So says the Machaba in Sif Hey, Yesh Misha Oima Sheim Hamavarich Iter. If the person who's uh, doing the zimun, who's leading Brechus Amozen, is left-handed, Belaz, uh, Mansina, whatever that is, Oiche is a kais bi minishu small shakalodom. He holds it in his right hand, which is the left hand uh, for everybody else. So the lefty who leads Brechus Amozen would hold it in his left hand. Says the Mishnah Sif Katan Chav, she small shakalodom. Now, so, he, so the left-handed person uh, holds it in his left hand. Now, what if he's ambidextrous? Says the Mishnah Bura, "V'im who showed it b'shtei yadav, if he is ambidextrous, oiches biyamin shoyimin kol adam, then he holds it in the right hand. In other words, uh, which is what not his own, not his left hand, but his right hand. V'da the mashe huskum b'siv talat ad siv zeh hiskim b'beagrad do rak lehidur mitzvah lechat chila. All of these halachas of holding in the right hand with you know, etc. This is not ma'akev. It's ideal." But it's, uh, that's only for a mitzvah min amufcha. So he's got an interesting note. How do you define ambidextrous? It's quite a challenge to define that. He says, Begeder shoyle b'shteyodav in note 17. Kosov l'kamon, shehainu she'oise kol ha'malochas b'shteyem b'shove. That is literally, he could choose to do it with his right hand or his left hand. And they're both equally as strong and as effective. Ma she'enken im kal lo lasos melech melochos b'smol. Let's say, for example, his left hand is actually strong. It's easier for him to do work with his left hand. If one hand is actually a little bit stronger and is more comfortable to do that, that's not properly ambidextrous. The, you know, there's lots of raid on this. What, how do you define it? What's stronger? Is it your writing hand for twilling purposes or is it uh, just strength? There's a, they tell a famous meister with the Ryak of Kamenetsky that a Hasid Shabbat once came to him before the, is approaching his, his mitzvah. And the Shaila applies in lots of areas, but it applies also in Tfilin. Which hand do you put your twin on? So if you're right-handed, you put it in the left hand. If you're left hand, you put it in the right hand. If you're ambidextrous, what do you do? So there's a big lot of discussion. My son's Mr. Josh was on that because he was left-handed. But um, there's a lovely story. There's a lovely uh, as well. There's a lovely story that Rabbi Yaakov uh, comes in with the same Shaila. So Rabbi Yaakov is trying to ascertain which uh, which is his stronger hand. So he says, well, when you play baseball, when you pitch, do you pitch with your right hand or do you pitch with your left hand? So the, the father interjected, he says, uh, Rosh Shiva, my son's a chassid shibach, he doesn't uh, play baseball. Ah, I'm so sure Sorry. Tell me, when you hit your sister, do you use your right hand? <laughs> she use your left hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sivav. Sivav. Okay, good. Mishenosnu lo kais levarech lo yasiach hamavarech. So once they give the kais to the person benching, lo yasiach hamavarech. He shouldn't uh, interrupt, he shouldn't talk. And so too, the, the, the people shouldn't talk once the Mavarech has started. Now this Sif is talking about where he's actually being moit to them. That means he's benching on their behalf. So it's all working through Shomer Ka'ina. And therefore, when you're, when you're being yoitzed through Shomer Ka'ina, you can't talk because then it, you're not, you're not as if, you know, Shomer means you've got to listen as if you're talking. So if you're talking something else, then it's not going to work. So, so the person who's being, who the Masubin, who are being yoyt, say, Ein lo'em lo siyach m'shehizchid ha'mavarech. Lo'em mi bo'e b'shash m'varech. Not only when he's actually making the bracha, she'tzrichin l'shmoya l'hovin masha o'em m'varech. He's got to understand what the person's saying. El afilu b'em bracha l'bracha, even when there's a silence between the brachas, Ein lo'em lo siyach, no one should talk. V'im avru v'sochu b'em bracha l'bracha, if, however, they did, and it was between brachas, b'shash m'varech sh'esek, ma'at, when the person is, when the m'varech is pausing for a moment, yotzu, then they yot Says the Ramah, even if the Mavarach himself spoke between the Brachas, then but if, if the Masubin, the other people are talking whilst the Mavarach is speaking, then they're not Yetzer because, like I say, the Shamer Kaina has been interrupted. Says the Mishnah Baruch, Siv Katan Chafalaf, Mishnah Lokais, Vaad Achashtiyoso, you shouldn't talk until. From the moment they give him the kais until after he's finished drinking the the kais, which is at the very end of berachas hamazon. Now, you might think to yourself, "Hang on a second, doesn't this co- contradict what we said previously?" Uh, in in uh, footnote number eighteen, he says, "Va'afshikosav leel 
שכבר מנציל עצמה עם אחרינים אין לה הפסק בדיבור. You, you, once you even before that point, it's not when you give him the case, but even when they give him my machrein, he's got to stop talking. Bir HaMogin Avram, the Mogin Avram explains, Shemadubakan ba'efin shenosten lo'es ha'kais k'edim shenosten my machreinim. They gave him the kais too early, as it were, they gave him the kais before my machreinim, so ready from that point, he shouldn't talk. He's holding the kais, then he's got to stop for my machreinim, and then he carries on. But the point is, whichever comes first, really, either my machreinim or giving him the kais, from that point and on, he should, uh, he should not talk. Okay, good. Continuing uh, the Mishnah Bura, Sif Katan Chof Beis, Mishnah Hischan Amavarech. I will make him, but before that point, Rishoyim La Siach Afshik Kvan Not La Amavarech Hakos Biyadei. Before that point, even though they've given the the case to the person, then the others can speak. For Yesh Min Apoiskim Tisviru Lahu Lahachmin Bazev and Nochem Lachash Lidzrem. They should also stop talking once the the Mavarech has received the case. Shesrich in Nishmaya says the Mishnah Bura Chof Gimel. We're talking about a scenario, like I said, where he's being moit to them in Berachas Amazim. Vim lo yishmu lo yitzu. Therefore, if they don't listen, they're not going to be yitzu. Ein lo im lo seach to kim the shemer kaona. Since the whole thing is operating uh, by way of shemer kaona, harim kim mivarich atzma. It's as if them being mivarich. So you can't talk about other things whilst you're benching. It doesn't work. Chof hey afilu. The asicha shemen time. Because if there's there's talk between the brachas, it doesn't just doesn't spoil it. Veda the Magen Avram decided to call Zehu Dafka b'Sicha b'Sheigeg. That says the Magen Avram a very important point. That's only if you spoke b'Sheigeg. I will be amazed if you deliberately spoke during benching when the person is being made to you. I feel b'Sicha muetes. I feel ben bracha le bracha. It's undone what your brachas are, and you got to go back to the beginning. The Elia Rabba questions this. Um, the Mishnah the concludes that you should not go back if you spoke deliberately during benching. If there was a big gap uh, between the brachas, that that gap was so great that you could have completed the entire benching, even if there was no talking, you were just sitting there quietly, some say that that pause is so great that you need to go back to Birchas Amozen. But Dafka im Hashiu hu machmas oinus. That's only if the delay was because of some sort of oinus. Shah Yatzorich in the Nokva, for example, he needed the bathroom. O Shah Mokum in a Noki, the place was unclean. There was like a, a child came in with a dirty nappy or something like that. Vilchemavu ele albasim and samachelin in Krishma. Vuadin Khan. It's not so clear in halacha to yachsa bishvushi here ben bracha lebracha that if he should go back for a gap for a delay between bracha lebracha ach imshiu kazeh hoya beemtza bracha tzarech lachsa. But if the gap was during the bracha, then tzarech lachsa v'rak l'reish habracha. But you only go back to the beginning of the previous bracha. Okay, so in short, one should not really talk or delay um, during a Birch Samozen. If one did, then if it's, if it's during a bracha, you go back to the beginning of that bracha. But if it's uh, Bain HaBrochas, then uh, the Mishavur is Mekel not to go back. Um, and so too for a big gap. Okay, Chovov, Lo Yotsu. So this is going on, this is going on the very end, the last few words of the Mechaba. That meet that says that im shosu b'shas shu mavarich. Sorry, im sochu. If they if they spoke whilst the fellow is making brachas amozin and he's being moitzi them, then lo yotsu says the mishnah bura chavav v'tolu b'zeh. Im lo gama mavarich adain is a If the mavarich had not yet finished the bracha, chayzun hamasubin. The, the the those who are there go back. Umavarichin ba'atz on imachem sheposkul ishmael edivir hamavarich. They've got to go back from the moment where they stopped hearing the mavarich. But if the Mavarich had finished and they had in mind to be to be Yitzha, to listen and to be Yitzha, because if they were speaking whilst the fellow was talking, was giving Mavarich, it's as if they haven't said anything. But it's only the essential parts of the Bracha. Kamoi bris, the Torah. These are essential uh, themes in Birch Samozin. Okay, so b'zeh shem liekuva. Kamoi shekatsu v'simukuf paizayim, paizayim, which we'll get there, Mishem. 
אבל הם דילגו רק דברים שהם שלא ימי כברכה, אבל אם הם יסקיפו נון אסנצ'ל פארטס של הברכה, יוצאו בדיעבד והם צריכים לחזור בשביל זה. אין בדיעבד היו יצא ברכז המוזן, הם לא צריכים לחזור בג. וכל שכן הם לא דילגו כלל, הם סרטים והם צריכים לסקיפו את עול, כגוין שם מברך עצמו יסוך, אז באמצע וסוכו גם הם, אף בוודאי שלא בדין עשו, מכל מוקם בדיעבד יוצאו והם צריכים לחזור. Okay, Bethesda. So the bottom line is, it doesn't. It's not so nagir this because the ma'aser we do are in Birchas Amozim. But the key is, if someone is being yotz, being mates to you, just to listen very carefully, not to say a word. Otherwise, you might well undo what you're doing. Actually, if somebody is lazy to bench, can someone be? Can someone mates? Yeah, we try and avoid it nowadays. But it can, but we we it can work. It does work. But it does work. It does work. And the reason why we don't like it is for these sort of reasons because. Um, You got to li- really listen to the person being mate to you, uh, but but yeah, but it does work. But yeah, it does work. So long as you have in mind and they have in mind, etc., etc. It's not even gaining that much necessarily. It's not like they can just run off and you know just be stood there. Like no, you got to listen and focus and say what they say. Yeah. Okay. Say that.